All right, so I've been seeing a lot of people complaining that they aren't able to land their rush attacks in this game and that it's too easy to whiff them. Well, while it is a lot easier to whiff these than it was in the Budokai Tenkaichi series on the PlayStation 2, I will show you how to pretty much guaranteed land these every single time you throw them out. If you find this video helpful, be sure to leave a like down below. And yeah, so pretty much what you just got to do is you have to make sure that you send the opponent flying in some way, shape or form, but don't send them flying too far or else the chances of this decreases drastically. So like, for example, if you send them flying by doing, I have him set to guard so that he's, you know, we gotta be a little more tactical with like how I show y'all how to do this stuff. But pretty much the way that you gotta do it is by making sure that they're close, but also making sure that they're close enough to where they're not really able to recover fast enough. So I'm gonna show you an example here. Also real quick tip, if the opponent's just pretty much blocking, you're not really able to get an opening. And you know, like no matter what you do, it's just like, you know they just keep blocking vanish behind them i don't see enough people do this and quick tip as well just pretty much vanish behind them like this and what you got to do is on the left analog stick either hold left or right that gets you a guaranteed spot behind them don't press forward don't press backward i mean if you're trying to evade press backward but if you're trying to get like behind them because if i press forward like that you know he's just able to turn around block easy but if i press it to the side you see that there he's not able to block no more so whenever you're doing this that's how you create an opening for yourself. Quick tip. Now for the combos where you're actually able to land the rush attacks. Here's one that I'll show you real quick. You see that there? How I barely gave him like any time to recover? That's what you're going for. You don't really want them to have like any time at all to recover from this or else this most likely won't work. I'll show you another example. That combo that I just did where I pretty much sent him flying like down to the ground. You don't even need to do all that to be completely honest. You could just go behind him. Like I'll just go behind and make it easier, right? You could just do this where you just send him flying. And then right after. That's another way to land this. You don't even got to do a whole, you know, insane combo. You can if you want. It looks flashier. But to be completely honest, it's not necessary. And yes, just so you know, it works with the ultimates too. Watch. You see, because he barely had any time to recover, that's the secret as to landing this. Honestly, if you try to do this as much as you can, I don't know how likely you'll be able to do it with ultimate attacks because those are like a little easier to predict because you got full key like you're probably going for the ultimate but when it comes to like basic rush attacks and stuff it's a great way to get easy damage in matches and this is how you pretty much link it. Another secret that I'm going to show you all right quick is that this also works as an OTG. So if you knock your opponent down and they're already like sliding or bouncing on the ground and still haven't recovered yet you can use a rush attack and it'll still land. Let me show you. You can do this in a match and it 100% works. I know because I was fighting one of my friends and every single time he did this it got me. Like no matter how much I recovered. Remember how I told y'all it also works as an OTG? I'm gonna show you an example right now in Vegeta's Garden as you can see. I'm gonna show you another example right now of me just, you know, doing a combo where he just lands and slides on the ground. I'm gonna do the super attack afterwards and it'll still land. And that was even with a little bit of delay because I know sometimes people like to use that as a tactic like to get, you know, to try and trick their opponent where they'll just like not recover instantly because they'll just be over their body just like whiffing attacks like this. But if you whip out a rush attack, it'll get them. Same thing with ultimate attacks. Easy ways to get damage. And honestly, I wouldn't really try to spam these because if your opponent if your opponent like actually knows how to block and stuff and is really good with defense, then you might be in a little bit of trouble. But if as long as you can get off a combo, and like I said, even if you do a combo where it's just this, and then as long as you do the attack right after, they don't have any time to recover. So unless they got like certain, you know, things going on that allow them to, which I'm not gonna put in this video because I don't want people to, you know, spam certain techniques online and then just people getting mad. But you know what I mean? Like if you if you know, you know. Another thing that you can try is if you do like a smash attack like this where the opponent's stunned. If you do it like that, or you either got to be super quick or you got to land the charged one where they're just stunned for longer and you can land it that way. I'll show both examples right now.
that's example number one. And that's example number two. Both times, again, if you don't charge it, just make sure you do it instantly. If you do charge it, then that gives you a little more time. Either way, it's gonna be hard for them to recover. Now, let me show y'all using it in combos this way so you can see what it looks like, you know, in an actual match. And that, y'all, is how you can link all your rush attacks, including ultimates that are rush attacks, and always have them work. Thank y'all for watching this video. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe for more Sparking Zero content. I'm going to catch y'all next time. And yeah.